Hi, Dr. Martin Schwartz here in my New York City dental office to show you my new effect called Flash Beam. What you will need for Flash Beam will be a borrowed iPhone. You have to make sure that the iPhone has a flashlight attached in the back. You'll also need a deck of cards. This could be any deck of cards, the cards you've been using for all your other effects, or you could start with the deck of cards in the box. So, the first thing you, you will do to perform Flash Beam is remove the cards from the pack. You can now show all the cards to be different, and if you wish, you could cut the cards, and you can also shuffle the cards. Now you're gonna ask a spectator to freely select one card. This is not a forced card. They can take out any card they like. The card can even be signed if you like. Okay, Amy, would you remove one card from the deck? Okay, the spectator now looks at the card and places the card back into the deck. Cards are returned, and now you're gonna give the deck a cut. You can give the cards another cut. The spectator can cut the cards. Amy, would you cut the cards? And complete the cut. Good. Okay, now comes the reveal. The iPhone is now held by the spectator with a light in this corner over here. You will now go through the cards until the light goes on. At that point, the card will be revealed. So let's place the cards under the light and go through the cards like this. Watch what magically happens as the card appears. The light goes on and magically the light goes off and now you reveal the card that the spectator chose. The phone can now be given back to the spectator. It's their phone. The deck is reassembled and the effect can be immediately redone. Remember, Flash Beam does not use Bluetooth, remote control, apps, or magnets. And at all times, you have control of the light going on and off. Remember also that there are no forced cards. The card can be signed and the trick can be repeated immediately. I hope you enjoy performing Flash Beam as much as I enjoy creating it. Thank you.